Hello friends, this is Vilas Serpent's video. Now in this video, I am going to discuss how to create a text field and text area and to handle events okay, with the, related with text field. Okay, let me go with that example directly. So let me go on with open my NetBeans. Okay, fine here. What I have done here already is I have created a window. Now this is what I have done. So a window is created. Okay. So and how to handle this window event. If you're not comfortable with creating a window, please watch this in YouTube. Okay, and to create a window. Now what I'm going to do directly here is I wanted to create a text field and a text area. Okay, so so that uh, let me say I'll create a text area okay, to display my text there. And I'll create a text field. I'll say a reference variable. Okay, so in order to create okay a text field, let me say text field. I'm going to instantiate create object. Okay. Simply say okay. okay. Now here I can choose any of this constructor. Either I can directly give the text, or I can say my width of the columns. Okay, so some size. Or I can choose to say provide a text and provide with the number of columns. Instead, I choose go with this and where I'll say my size is 30. The same way, whenever I wanted a text area also, okay, so I'll instantiate that also and create an object of this text area. And here also, I can choose to have the empty constructor or I can provide a text. Or here, I can choose to say how many number of rows and columns, okay. And here, I can provide some text, rows, and columns, and with the scroll bus. I'll choose. With this here, I will say some 10 rows and some, let me say some 30 columns because we have a width as 30. Okay. Now we have created these two uh, components. Okay. That is text field and text area. Now I need to attach this to my frame, to my window. So to, I, I can use the add method and I can simply say that with this text field first and my text area. Now I'm done with both. So now this both are added. Okay. Now see. <coughs> let me let me try to run this. Okay. So now this both are added. Okay. So now here I have. Uh, let me say my name. Bless it. But I wanted to handle this even when I press on this enter button. I wanted to display. I wanted to put this in my text area. Okay. Now it is not done because it is not listening to the event. So I need to register my text field to listen to an event. So I'll say my text field okay, is going to be registered to an action listener because when I press on that an action event is generated. So I will say my text field is listening to that event. So now in this case I wanted to implement the action listener. So I'll say implements my action listener. Okay whenever you implement an Interface, I am supposed to implement all the methods available within that interface. Now, here I have a method called action perform. What I am going to do within this action perform, I am going to take the um, you know, text from my text field and I am going to set it to the text area. Okay. Now, better I will say because I need to add more elements, so I will better say append. Okay. So, append. So, what is the text? I want to get it from the text field. Okay. Fine. Text field dot get text. And I have appended along to uh, append it to my text area. Okay, so in order to print a new line, let us say sorry, I can I can I can choose to say print in new line. Okay, each item. Now let's try. Okay, let me say yeah, I can see okay, it is there. Okay, new line, and let me say. Java, okay, it is a new line. Let me say Android. Okay, it's a new line. Like this, I'm I have added all this you know responding to my action event. Uh, but what if if I wanted to know? Okay, some changes I made here. Okay, I wanted to know the changes made in my text field. Okay, so meaning whenever uh, the components that is the text field uh, text changes, I wanted to know. I wanted to do something, process something. So in order to know that, whenever you make some changes in the text field, and text event is generated. Okay. So now, how to handle that text event? So now, for that, my 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 text field is not registered for it. 
okay so in order to handle that i'll say my text field is going to be registered with my text listener okay i'll say the current object okay text listener so if i wanted to do that i need to implement implement my text listener okay i'll implement the text listener so this text listener this interface has an abstract method okay so i'll i'll overwrite that method that is okay so can see text value changed that's the name of the method okay so now whenever uh, changes happen in my uh, text field okay so that my text field is registered to listen to that change so immediately when the changes happen it will invoke this text value change method i'll simply say text area okay, dot set text of get it from okay sorry from the text field get it okay get the text from the text field. now let's see okay now, now let me say Ajay. okay so now whenever i type on okay can you see here whenever i type on okay the in okay so fine so whatever i type when whatever changes happen here okay i'm able to be notified okay so this is how now let me let me do uh, something else uh, here instead of this let me provide some text okay let me say now some text is available there let me try to run this okay so what's there some text is there already now when i make some changes okay now here you can see as it is listening okay to my text even it is happening like this now so now sometimes you now what if i don't want to uh, change this okay i don't want to um, make provide the user okay this option because i, I don't want to modify the text i can simply say okay so editable okay, i don't want that edit editable option i'll say is false so that now my user will not be able to edit it whatever available in my text okay now your now editable will not be available i cannot edit it okay the same way now if i wanted to um, let me let me go with this okay, the, uh, again let me go with this size now when i run this program i wanted to echo uh, no I, I may pri i may type something but i wanted to echo the character with some other characters and i can simply say my text field Okay, dot set echo character and here I can say some sorry it's a character I can say some star okay let's see okay now if I, if I try to type something okay, sorry because our editable is false what is that set editable is false so I cannot do it so let me delete that run again so I uh, let me try Java. So it is there. Okay, my echo character okay, is star. Okay, so now, so this is what you can um, uh, do, guys. Like you can do more things here. Hope you got something. Okay, so thanks for watching. God bless you.